Welcome to Journey of One. This is a show where I travel around Southern California to check out fun events and interesting places to see. Thanks for watching. Let's begin the journey. This week, my dad and I headed out on a motorcycle trip to the city which shares my name, Julian, California. As we set out, we joined up with motorcycle group Star Chapter 415, part of the International Star Touring and Riding Club. This is primarily a group of Yamaha motorcycle owners, but is open to any kind of bike and owner. They frequently go on rides as a group and even have a big charity event called Ride for the Troops, which they do in December. We met up in the San Pedro Harbor area before heading out on the drive to Julian. Julian is located in the hills northeast of San Diego. We took the long scenic way out, heading east and coming down to Julian. Once we got off the main freeways, we got to ride through some interesting countryside, which made for a really cool ride. The only downside was it was a pretty hot day, and being inland away from the ocean while wearing leather jackets and helmets didn't help. Fortunately, the beautiful landscape provided some great twists and turns for motorcycle ridings and gave some awesome views along the way of forests, orchards, and farms on the way there. Some 150 miles or so into the trip, we finally began our ascent into the hills the city of Julian was located in. Outside the city was several stops, like Julian Station, where there's a restaurant, historic mine, and apple orchards. There also happened to be a big antique swap meet-like event going on that seemed quite popular. The city of Julian began as a mining town, but is now most known for its apple orchards. In September, they have a big Apple Days Festival, where people come from all over to visit, making it a quite crowded in this small town. This has always been one of my favorite places to visit. Not only is it a beautiful town, but seeing my name all over the city is always really fun. Someday I hope to get a vacation home down here. Or maybe I could run for mayor and be Mayor Julian of the City Julian. Just seems like it's meant to be, don't you think? The city still maintains its historic and small town feel, adding to the charm of it. There are many tours, like this horse-drawn carriage, that will take you around the city and let you know all about its history and the popular places. It's kind of like being in an old western town, with the most modern style building being this 50s style soda fountain diner. This was a cool place where you could go grab a bite to eat, get a nice cold soda, and some dessert to finish it off with. Our group decided to stop for lunch at Buffalo Bill's, advertised as having a great buffalo burger, something I've personally never had before. After, my review is that it's pretty great. Love the burger and the friendly staff made for a great place to have lunch. One of the big draws for the visiting people was to get some of the city's famous apple pies. There were several different pie shops to choose from, but all of them had long lines out their door, so we decided to pass this time around. If you decide to spend an extra day or two here, you can always rent a room here at the Julian Hotel, one of the few different bed and breakfast establishments here in the city. After lunch, my dad and I walked around a bit, checking out all the different shops they had there. I just like going around and seeing all the shops with my name on it and pretending like I was the owner of all of them. A joke that never got old to me. But it started to get late into the afternoon and we had a long ride back home, so my dad and I set off, heading back north towards LA. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment letting me know what you think of the video. Visit journeyofone.com for more videos, bonus content, and to see what's coming up next on future videos. See you next week as I go on another Journey of One.